We're going to look at the star topology in this video, but first of all, a topology, not a word you necessarily come across in everyday life, is in this context the arrangement of the nodes and connections in a network. So it's kind of a physical arrangement of uh, the devices and the connections between the devices but that will become clear as you move through. So we've talked about classifying networks in terms of their size, in terms of you know their local area or wide area networks, and also in terms of their behavior, in terms of client server, and this is more about the actual physical arrangement of the nodes. Having said that, you can have both logical and physical topologies. This is a bit above this level, but it's not quite as simple as having just a nice um, star, in the case of a star topology, it, it can behave like another topology, even though it looks like a physical topology. Anyway, we'll leave that for now and focus on the star topology. So as you would imagine, the layout is uh, resembles a star. I mean, of course, it doesn't actually have to look like this. This is how it's obviously going to be shown on a diagram, but it, it's how it behaves more like. And most home local area networks and wireless local area networks use this topology because it has this central connection point and it might be a router or a wireless access point, in this case a hub or a switch. And the point of this is that each node is linked to the central connection point. So they only ever go through the central connection point. This means that the centralized point receives all the data and it can forward it on to only the intended recipient. In other topologies, all the devices see all the data, which isn't ideal in most cases. The main issue is you're entirely dependent on this central point. If this fails and breaks, then the whole network can no longer communicate because everything has to go through it. And obviously this will cost money perhaps, so that's another disadvantage you might be able to talk about. 